I've always admired the skill of a craftsman, and especially Nigel's skills as a cabinet maker. I asked him to bring our story of St. Leonard to life. Leonard was born at the end of the 5th century in France and served at the court of the King and Queen. Legend has it that Leonard saved the Queen during a difficult childbirth, and in gratitude, King Clovis granted Leonard two wishes. He would give Leonard as much of his forest as he could ride around on a donkey in one day, and any prisoner Leonard could convert, the king would pardon. So Leonard became the patron saint of prisoners and pregnant women. His symbol? In art, Leonard holds the chains brought to him by people in gratitude for their freedom. Leonard called people to freedom from the dungeons of despair. When the Normans arrived in Benjo in the 11th century, the first thing they did was build a church dedicated to their favourite saint. It's a great story, isn't it? And I think it's a shame that there isn't more about Leonard here in Benjo, in his church today. That's where Nigel and his traditional skills come in. Take one person's life, albeit an ancient legend, turn it into something functional, something beautiful for today. That's what we needed to do. When you come into Leonard's church, you'll see the font and its cover, those uprights stretching and bending, symbols of yearning for life and for freedom. The altar and two new candlesticks built of stout English oak. Match the robust church roof the bars of the prison cell through which Leonard called people to peace, to new beginnings and a new life. The altar will tell that story, a story about freedom and hope. The symbol of chains, Leonard's symbol. When you reach out to freedom and a new life, you can leave those chains with him. People found hope through Leonard and we want people to hear his story and be inspired by it. This furniture will tell that story. The whole church has detail everywhere. We've got to concentrate on the story. And that's really what it's all about. Bringing this church to life.